Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. A double upload today along with the stream which we have done today and was absolutely incredible. If you were there, you know how good it was. It started off really badly, loads of technical issues, it was lagging, it had to restart the stream. But we got it back on track and uh, yeah, it was incredible. And if you were there, you know. We had a guy, Calvin Wiggins, you are the MVP. He donated 10 times during the stream. Which just blew my mind. So shout out to everyone who came through to the stream. And uh, chances are we will have another one going tomorrow as well. Um, and also in that stream we had another couple of members join the channel as well. So shout out to the five MVPs that we have. Heisenberg, Panda, Hakim, Jenna and Anson who joined today. There we go. My memory is okay. So shout out to you five guys. And a shout out to everyone else who is a member of the channel. If you do want to get involved. There's a join button down below or in the top line of the description. It will take you to where you need to go. So... Where are we at after the stream today? Well, we have gone ahead and completed Pink Diamond Dr. J as we went through and did the remaining four challenges that we needed to for him. So the nets are done. So tomorrow I will be getting through, or we will be getting through, Roy Hibbert and Rip Hamilton. And then that just leaves Barnyani on Wednesday, the final player that we're going to need to do for the Galaxy Opal Arenas. But not only that, Galaxy Opal Hakeem as well, which is awesome. Right, you can see there I've bid on another batch of heat check cards. I've just gone up to about two hours. Uh, I've been on 45 cards for the usual, about 3.6, 3.7k. Hopefully we can get some of those back. And we come over here and already we are down to 79 cards away from Dwayne Wade. Unbelievable. The progress we're making is insane. And of course, today they have just dropped new historic moments, historic spotlights in moments cards. So we've got those to go through uh, today, have a look at all their stats and see hopefully if they're cheap-ish. There is an amethyst, there is a diamond. Hopefully those guys don't sell for too much. Because, yeah, there's not many cards left other than the heat checks that we can actually buy that are cheap. Every other card we need to buy now is really expensive. There's a, there's a few. There's probably about 30 cards that are under 20k. But there's only 30 cards that are under 20k. The remaining of the other cards or the remainder of the other cards are all, like, over 20k, like 30, 40, 50k. So that's when it's going to start getting very, very expensive. But, of course, we will be adding in plenty more reward cards. And Dr. J came home today. Not going to lie. Pretty impressed with his card, actually, to be fair. 96 driving layout with a 98 driving dunk. Mid-range and a three-pointer. They're not excellent. Um, they're not exceptional. But 88 mid and a 7-3. That's still very nice. Nice ball control. Really nice defensive stats. No rebounding. That's to be expected. And then really nice speed and lateral quickness of 89 again. Could be a little bit higher, but still not bad at all. So Dr. J, not bad. Very happy to have him there. And uh, there's three away from Gilbert Arenas and just three away from Hakeem. I'm so happy. And then just three away from being halfway to Kobe as well. Over halfway because we've already done four of these. We are actually over halfway. Wow, that's a relief. So we have done 38. 38 out of the... Six, no, wait. 32 out of the... Oh, if only it was 38. 32 out of the 60 challenges. So we're over halfway for Kobe. And it's actually two weeks today, guys. If you're watching this on Monday, it's two weeks today is uh, when we're scheduled to get Kobe and where my birthday is. So that is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at these new Spotlights in Moments cards. And like I said, hopefully they're a little bit cheap so we can go ahead and uh, pick one up. Uh, it doesn't look like it. So Houdoum Boyer already at like, it uh, looks like he's going to be about 20k. Hopefully I'll be able to get one for like 15k, maybe a bit less than that. But um, 25k and there's good reason, to be fair. There is very good reason. So he comes in at the power forward at six foot nine, so we'll compare him to our Michael Beasley right there. He comes in with catch and shoot. He has got hot zone hunter, clamps, intimidator, so really nice defensive badges. And then he's got quick first step, which is good. He's got a range extender, of course, because what card doesn't? And he's got a 95 driving layout with a 95 driving dunk. 82 mid isn't great. 85 three is nice enough. He can speed boost. Average but well-rounded defensive stats, and again, average but well-rounded rebounding, and really nice speed. For an Amethyst with 26 Hall of Fame badges, this card is exceptional, but is he going to be worth like the however much you're going to have to pay for him? Probably not. Uh, probably not. So let's go Amethyst. Oh, why is 2K the way that it is? Uh, okay, let's go Spotlight Sim, Amethyst, and then down to the Pistons. Hello, does he show up there? Yes, he does. Why is this game so broken? I do not understand it. Right, let's go see if we can pick him up for 20k. Okay, so he's, he's under 20k, which is nice. He should keep on coming down because, as you can see, the packs have only been out for an hour so far. So he should keep on coming down. More and more people should want to pull these packs. 15k right there. Okay, that's nice. So if I can get one for 10k, I'll be really, really happy with that. So fingers crossed we can pick him up for 10k. But um, even 10k of him 
it's not a bad price, but there's probably better value out there, in my opinion. All right, next up, we have got Diamond James Posey, who again, hopefully, isn't going to be too expensive. Less Hall of Fame badges than Doom Boya, yeah? which just makes no sense. Um, but anyway, that is how 2K works. So, small forward, 22 Hall of Fames, 18 goals. Range extender at Hall of Fame level. We've got clamps. We have got um, nothing else really incredible. They did have contact finish up there. Intimidator, quick first step, defensive leader, quick draw. Um, okay, not too bad. 84 driving up, 80 driving up. So driving isn't really exceptional. Uh, shooting, 88 mid, and 94 three is nice. So he can speed boost. Uh, 94 perimeter D is good. And then uh, 88 speed. It's just a nice, well-rounded, average card. Nothing too crazy about it. These type of cards are 10 to a dozen at the moment in uh, my team. So... James Posey, not someone that you should really be going crazy for in terms of picking up. All right, next up, we have got John McLaughlin. Uh, Pink Diamond coming in with 28 Hall of Fame badges. Shooting guard or small forward. At six foot five, you're not going to want to play this guy at the small forward position. So definitely just a shooting guard. He is going to have a lot of shooting badges, as expected. He's got range extender, he's got clamps, dead eye, intimidator, which is all very nice. Quick first step on there as well. And then gold badges, we've got diamond, defensive leader, quick draw, floor general, so solid badges. 92 driving layup, 80 driving dunk, 96 mid, 97 three, nice ball control, 95 perimeter D, and 89 speed and acceleration. Again though, it's just another card that we have seen so many of. I'm going to go get him, I'm going to go get my guy, oh, it's going to take so long because I've got so many cards. My guy, Lance Stevenson. Lance Stevenson is better at driving, uh, shooting goes to John McLaughlin, fair enough. Uh, passing all goes to Lance, defensively goes to Lance, rebounding goes to Lance, speed, exactly the same. Like, what's the point? Sure, you get extra Hall of Fame badges, but Lance Stevenson still got them at gold. Like, just not a card that you should be fussed about picking up in the slightest, in my opinion. Uh, next up, we've got another pink diamond, which is going to be Larry Nance. How many of them are up in the auction house? Literally, like, 10 by the looks of it. That's crazy. Do not pay 100k for this card, whatever you do. That would be a big L in my opinion. Someone's already bid 65k on that. That's crazy. Six foot ten. Uh, so we can play the small four position as well. So that could be nice. 28 Hall of Fames. Uh, quite a few shooting ones, but looks it. Quick first step. Clamps. Intimidator is going to be there. There it is. Um, and then gold badges. We have got a lot of rebounding ones, which is nice. Quick draw. Range extender as well. Because why not? Uh, let's go for Tom Gilly. Uh Let's go for Michael Beasley again. So Larry Nance, 90 driving dunk, no wait, 95 driving dunk, 90 driving lap, 85 3, 88 mid, not bad, 86 ball control, because that just seems to be what they're giving everyone at the moment, defensively really, really good, rebounding really nice, and speed really nice as well, so Larry Nance actually comes in looking really nice to be fair, um, but who wants a card that looks like that, who wants a card that looks like that, like, I know card art doesn't affect anything in game guys, but if I'm looking at my squad, I don't want to see no generic pictures out here. I want to see real people out there. So, yeah, I don't know. The Spotlight Moments, channel, moments cards just aren't really for me. But um, it's still a very nice card. A very nice card indeed. And then that brings us up to the top level. And it's going to be Galaxy Opal Steve Francis. So, if we had Gilbert Arenas, it would be a perfect comparison. So, I think they are pretty much identical in terms of their stats. Don't really have anyone else that's good compared to. So, I will just go for my Derek Rose that I picked up yesterday so steve francis 39 hall of fame badges like i said if you've got gilbert arenas this card is pretty much useless because they're exactly the same basically uh we've got ankle breaker floor general range extender dimer uh, we've got clamps quick draw and then we come down here got contact finisher as well which is nice quick first step is good and then gold badges got dead eye intimidator chase down artist and corner specialist in terms of the stats 97 driving layup with a 98 driving dunk very similar to my Derek rose shooting very similar to Derek rose at uh, 95 mid 94 three Passing is exceptional, defensively really nice, uh, rebounding not much, and speed is there as well. If you've got the pink diamond Derek Rose, what's the need to upgrade here? What is the need? I don't get it. They're dropping such incredible cards in these offline rewards that it just kind of makes these Galaxy Opals that they're dropping just not that impressive and not that important at the moment. But um, still not a bad card at all. And like I said, hopefully James Posey and Seku Dumboya will I'll be able to get for like 10k-ish. Maybe 15k for James Posey, which I probably won't pay straight away. But we are on such good pace to um, pick these guys up. Obviously, like I said in the first video of the day, you're going to get out on a lot of cards. And it is going to get very frustrating and very demoralizing. But you just got to keep at it. And I know that when I go to sell these guys back, I'm going to make so much profit. I am going to make so much profit because we are getting so many of these cards for so cheap. There's none for 3,800. That's crazy. Um, and just to give you guys a running tally now of how much we've spent up to this point... Uh, we have spent 3.85 million. 
give or take 3.85 million so we're creeping up to 4 million mt probably if all these 40 come in then it'll put us up to um the 4 million mark but obviously i just count how many cars we've got in the club so um i'll only count these guys when they actually come into the club but um yeah we're creeping up to 4 million how much i reckon it's going to cost me in total to get down to ad 5 million easily um but we've still got a lot more heat check cards to um go ahead and pick up i say a lot more there's actually not that many is it not that many i'm gonna have a quick little count up of how many we've got left right here okay so just did a quick little count up we only have 101 heat check cards left to buy only 101 left i mean i know i've got bids on 37 of them there uh so if in those that'd be nice but 101 cards obviously that's great it takes us past um dwayne wade comfortably comfortably past dwayne wade so it'll put us on 2822 cards so we will be quick maths 78 away from Anthony Davis. Now we will be getting, of course, all of these reward cards from the Spotlight Sims. Another 28, another 4, uh, which is 32, 33, 34, 35. So that's another 35 cards. So we won't be that far away from Anthony Davis, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, 101 cards to go. Not going to lie, I thought I still had a few more to buy, but I guess I've just been so good over these last couple of days of buying them that um, we managed to pick up the majority of them. And like I said, these Cavs set and these Hornets set, they are expensive expensive they are expensive so i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to buy those to be fair but hopefully we will um, be persistent and just keep going at it and we will keep on adding in a couple every time i go ahead and bid on all of these cards right let's go ahead and give uh where is he going to be who do i want to take in this game yeah okay we'll get rid of him let's go ahead and give arvita sabonis his debut in some triple threat online gameplay now 66 speed as we saw in the first video of the day 66 C speed, 66 acceleration, 51 speed with ball, 54 lateral quickness, and 28 perimeter defense. This card is pretty brutal, not going to lie. Um, Eddie Curry that's come out, he's better than him. Dino Raja is better than him. He is 7'3", which is nice, but there's Bol Bol out there. There's Kristaps out there. Sure, they don't have the strength that Sabonis has, and they're not so much of a tank and a unit. Sabonis is... Oh, look at that team. Oh, man. Draymond, T-Mac, and KD. I haven't played Triple Threat Online in so long. You guys know I haven't because um, we haven't had any time to grind out this Kiki. Uh, we've just been doing offline play. So this might not go well, um, <laughs> but we will try. We will try. So bonus, he is moving slow out here. He is moving slow. He pops instead of rolling to rim, but that's fine. Draymond is going to be a tough matchup down in the post, not going to lie. But we should be able to body him. We are literally like 300 pounds. We get him up in the air, and we get a dunk. All right, nice stuff, Sabonis. Nice little footwork like that. Um, he did push aside Draymond like he wasn't even there, which you do love to see. Um, let's get out. Oh, this is such a bad matchup, isn't it? Oh, my. And Brandon Roy, what are you doing? I uh, oh, I don't miss this game mode at all. What was that? Why did he decide to just randomly come in? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Right, Sabonis, set me a pick and fade. Good lad. We get him up in the air. Set your feet, buddy. And take the shot, and his first shot of the game is going to go ahead. It was only a two, but you know what, we'll take that. But my goodness, does he feel slow. My goodness, does he feel so, so painfully slow. Oh man, this guy really is a tank. That's such a bad shot. Get out of here with that. Get out of here. Look at him trying to chuck up the court as well. It just doesn't work. He's open for three. It's not green, it's a bounce back. But he knocks down his first three-pointer in the club you'd love to see it all right so bonus good stuff but oh this card is rough man this card is rough <laughs> if you guys are thinking about pushing up to this collector level for this Sabonis and just for Sabonis bearing in mind that it takes like three or so million mt that's just unfortunate isn't it that's fortunate though you love to see it Sabonis, come on run the fast break does he have a hop step he does and he gets this game mode what is that was that like 80% contested from behind? I don't know about that one, 2K. I don't know about that. Look at the speed of him or lack of speed of him. That's awful. Nice pass out, though. Uh, and we will get a uh, pick and fade going with him. Or we'll try to. Well, uh, who did you who did you set a screen for right there? Doesn't matter. He's open. It's not green again. You know, it's another one. My guy's a bonus. You guys can tell that I've played offline quite a lot because um, my releases are not on point. As you might expect after having played offline challenges for so long. You know what, KD, if you want to beat me running to the room, that's fine, but I'm not going to give you threes. James Worthy with the steal, you love to see it, and it's some bonus. It's not green again, and unsurprisingly, he's finally missed one, but Brandon Roy with a board? Really? You love to see that. Let's try and get him lost in the screen. It hasn't worked, but we do get a bit of space. 
it's a early this time. Brutal, absolutely brutal out here, guys. Not gonna lie. Oh, this is a this is a long time since I played this game mode. And offline and online are so different, and that is so annoying in itself as well. Like it shouldn't you shouldn't have to learn another game or learn different releases or time everything completely different just because you're playing online. It just doesn't make any sense. But sadly, that is the way that 2K are this year. That is a nice brick. Oh, even going for rebounds, he feels really slow. So bonus. Ah, oh, slightly late this time. What do I got to do to get a green out here? Oh, okay, I've given him that. I've given him that. He misses it, though. And Sabonis grabs a rebound. Good lad. So he's grabbing, what, three rebounds out here, which is nice. Uh, he's literally double-teaming my Sabonis. <laughs> Imagine double-teaming someone with 66 speed and, like, 10 lateral quickness. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to take that one. I'm not going to take that one. Um, let's bring... Okay, no, let's go ahead over this side. And then let's bring Sabonis for a pick and fade. Good lad. Right, let's go. Let's go, so bonus, stop that. Okay, no short meter, but he makes it. Good lad. 11 points so far for Sabonis. Oh, Sabonis green, finally. Why was it the one possession where I wasn't talking? He goes ahead and uh, green lights a mid-range. wasn't quite a three, but it was a mid-range, and I will definitely take that. Oh, the speed. The speed of KD scares me. He's got me off in the air. We do not have pogo stick. Wow, okay, I definitely noticed that. No pogo stick on Sabonis because it took him about half an hour to come down from the floor. Uh, for another mid-range, not green. Oh, and he misses it. Okay, well, guys, I do apologise for my shooting in this game, but please forgive me and know that it's been a long time since I have played online. Oh, we get out to the three just about, but not enough. Okay, so this card is not going to be good for Triple Threat Online. Uh, it's not going to be good for Unlimited. It's just not really going to be a good card, is it? So bonus for a slightly contested mid-range. Yeah, then it breaks that one. Uh, not ideal. Don't go out of bounds. Do not go out of bounds. What are you doing? What's his hook like? Let's take a look. That's not a hook, Sabonis. But he just puts it over Draymond, which is fine by me. Good stuff. Okay, instead of going with um, Sabonis right here, we're going to try and do a drive and kick with Bran and Roy. It's worked. He has come off Sabonis. Can we get a green light on the three? Oh, not even close. Not even close. But he does knock it down, which you do love to see. And he gets a takeover. Glass cleaning takeover on him, which isn't bad and puts us one possession away. From getting the dub in this one. As long as we're up on the threes. I don't mind about giving him twos. Not going to lie. I know he's got the speed to um, cut inside. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. Alright same thing again. Uh, we'll post him up. We'll go for an ISO. Try and run around him. Is he playing? I'm not sure. But it's fine. Because Sabonis gets his first green light when it's needed. And goes ahead and ends the game. I'll tell you what. Not a bad. Well okay. Three of six isn't incredible. But. For the first time I've played online in quite some time, for the first time using the card, never used this release before either, not too bad. But in general, bad. <laughs> like, he felt like a tank and not exactly a quick tank. Not that that is such a thing, but he was a very, very slow tank. So, yeah, not great, but at the end of the day, we needed to get him along the road to Dwayne Wade, who is going to be insane. And so is AD. Uh, so, Sabonis was neither here nor there, to be fair. Uh, we get four tokens on this board. That'd be nice to hit it. I think we've only got one ball drop. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we're literally just on the first few um, ball drops right there. Um, and then 100 tokens and 300 tokens. Uh, wow, imagine. 100 empty and 300 empty. Uh, and then we've got a couple of comments to get through. Oh, that was so close. A couple of comments to get through as uh, we get absolutely done there uh, with not getting the four tokens, which does suck, not going to lie. Um, so we've got Totally Tim, who says, Harry Giles the third or Bam Adebayo at power forward? Personally, I would say Bam Adebayo, because he's got a much better ball control than Harry Giles. Um, but both cards are very good. And there we go. We want a couple more cards. That's what it's all about. Getting a bit of um, MT as a refund as well. You love to see it. I tell you guys, it's not going to be long before we have that Dwayne Wade. The AD is going to take a little while, because we're going to need all of our reward, co reward cards. But Dwayne Wade is not going to take long at all. Not going to take long at all. And I'm still checking on like the buy now filter. Uh, so I sort of set this about 3,700. And if I see a card that I know is cheap, like that for 2,900, let's go. Oh man, you love to see that. And that's been there for three minutes as well. The auction house is just all over the place at the moment. So it still does show that you can get some cheap ones on buy nows. And that puts us 75 cards away from Dwayne Wade. So, so exciting. So exciting. Uh, Tanav says, is Lamar Odom for 398k worth it? So basically 400k. Is he worth it? He's an incredible card. Do I think he's going to go down in price? Yeah, probably down to about 350. But he has already come down from 500 down to the 400 mark. So it's not a bad price realistically. And he is, of course, needed for this prime set. And this prime player, mystery player, is going to have to be absolutely insane. It's going to have to be insane. But there we go, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. So bonus, nothing to write home about. But Dwayne Wade. 
75 cards to go. So exciting. So that's going to do it, guys. Let me know down below if you think any of the new Spotlight Challenges, Spotlight Moments cards are any good uh, or not, or whether or not they are just there to sort of fill out collections. Let me know. As usual, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.